Hello and welcome to Baiju's Exam Prep IAS. Welcome to another session of the big news. And in this session, we'll have a discussion regarding the recently announced lithium reserves in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Now, before understanding why this reserve is very important, let's try and understand certain important basic points here. First, Government of India has set up a target of having a net zero emission by the year 2070. And that's very important. You'll have to remember this. So by 2070, Government of India says, I want to reduce the emissions to zero, net zero. In order to achieve this, government has been implementing multiple reforms or taking multiple steps to reduce the emissions. Now I'll be focused on the electric vehicle industry here. In the context of electric vehicles itself, Government of India has implemented FAME 1 scheme and FAME 2 scheme, 1 as well as 2. Right now we are in the process of implementing FAME 2. In addition to this, the ACC Advanced Cell Chemistry, the ACC has been covered under PLI Production Linked Incentive Scheme plus even the automotive sector has been covered under PLI. In addition to this, in the recently announced budget, Government of India has announced that the customs duties on the capital goods or the capital machineries which are imported to produce lithium ion batteries, the customs duties on this will be reduced to zero. That is until very recently, the tax rate, that is the customs duties on these machineries, which were used to manufacture the lithium ion batteries, it was in the range of 5% to 20%. Now government says, I will reduce it to 0%, which means with this initiative of the government of India, or with the reduction in the taxation, obviously we are going to import more and more capital machinery, which will be used to produce these cells, and these cells would actually cost lesser because the machinery cost has become lesser. So these are certain very, very important reforms that the government of India has announced in the context of promotion of electric vehicles. Now some of you might be thinking, sir, agreed. All these schemes have been announced, even the budget announcement you have included here. But why should we understand all of this in the context of lithium reserves found in Jammu and Kashmir? Very valid question, let me address it. Whenever you talk about reduction of, let's say, carbon emissions, one of the ways that you can do is shift from the internal combustion engine, ICE based vehicles to electric vehicle. And when you talk about electric vehicle, the batteries are very, very important. In fact, one component that drives up the cost of the electric vehicles in India has been the cost related to the batteries itself. And the most relevant component related to battery is basically nothing but lithium. And before I go forward, do not assume that lithium is just connected to only electric vehicles. Even the smartphones, many of these electronic gadgets, even the electric equipments used in the healthcare sector, many of them actually use lithium apart from, let's say, nickel, cobalt, etc. Now, what is the situation about lithium in context of India? India, as of now, doesn't have a proven reserve, proven reserve, underline the term, commercially viable reserve in India. That lithium reserve, earlier was found in Karnataka. Many of you basically say, sir, but I read in the newspaper that there is a lithium reserve which we have found in Karnataka. You are absolutely correct. We have a lithium reserve which was found out last year in the state of Karnataka. But be very careful. The reserves which were found in Karnataka were to the tune of around 1600 tons. And this is not commercially viable. That is in simple terms, if I were to say that the cost of mining or let's say the cost of getting the lithium would be much, much higher compared to what would be basically earnings because of this mining activity. So commercially not viable. And that is the precise reason the latest lithium reserve that has been announced by the Ministry of Mines in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir, which is 5.9 million tons, plays a very, very important role here. 
or is very very important for the Indian economy. Now this is one point. Second very important point. So government of India is actually promoting electric vehicles and you said for the first time we have found a lithium reserve to the extent of 5.9 million tons in India. Then what we used to do until now because the promotion of electric vehicles is not new in the Indian economy has been done for many many years now. So what we used to do simple we used to import the lithium ion batteries into India. As per the government of India's documents itself between 2017 to 2020 for this time period we have imported lithium ion batteries to the extent of 3.3 billion dollars. Point one. And for the year 2021, we have imported lithium ion batteries to the extent of 9,000 crore rupees. In simple terms, in the last couple of years, we have been heavily been dependent on imports of these lithium batteries. And it should not be surprising to you to know that most of these imports are coming from our best friend, China. China accounts for one of the major countries in terms of lithium refining and more than 70% of these imports of lithium batteries have happened from China itself. In fact, in some of these years to the extent of 74%, 75% of lithium ion batteries have been imported from China and 20 plus more percent from Hong Kong itself. That is another very very important point, please remember this. Now some of you will ask, sir, is it that only China controls lithium reserves in the international market? Answer again. Again, is simply no. Apart from China, there is Bolivia, which accounts for the major amount or the largest chunk of lithium reserves in the international market or in the global market. As per various surveys, the lithium reserves in Bolivia account or are to the tune of 21 million tons. I repeat, to the tune of 21 million tons highest in the international market. After Bolivia, right, there is again Chile, right, again real, uh, no, nearby countries. Chile is there, Argentina is there, Argentina accounts for 17 million tons of lithium reserves. Then there is China, 4.5 million tons. Above China, there is Australia with which we already have an agreement to get these lithium reserves. Uh, that, that accounts for around 6.3 million tons of lithium. So these are some of the very important countries which have huge amount or let's say the largest reserves as of now in the international market of lithium. Now next very important point, why lithium is preferred? In the electric vehicles, why lithium is preferred? Simple, it is very lightweight and second, the amount of energy storage that it provides is very very huge. Another very close alternative where there is a lot of research and development being done is a sodium ion batteries. Understand the logic here. Very closely related that is basically in terms of let's say research and development which could in the future replace lithium ion batteries is sodium ion investigation or let's say research and development that is taking place. The sodium ion is preferable for a very simple reason Com compared to lithium sodium is much more highly available and cost wise it is much much cheaper and that is a precise reason in the coming days you might see more and more discussion related to sodium ion batteries which might replace lithium ion batteries. Now in the context of lithium ion please understand this one it is lighter second the energy that it gives provides or the amount of energy that it provides is much much larger compared to let's say any internal combustion engine. So what do you mean by that? You might have heard of Tesla cars. I'm pretty sure all of you heard of it. You might have heard of Tesla cars. In the context of Tesla cars, if you talk about it, you have, let's say, lithium batteries. Right? That is, uh, the batteries are there. And a 600 pack of, or let's say 600 kg pack of battery of lithium ion. Whatever cars are using this, if the same weight car has to use, let's say, any other engine, it has to be, with let's say 400 kgs. In simple terms, it is much much light weight and provides a lot of energy for running of the cars. So that is very very important. Next, come to the context of India. In Indian economy itself, government like I've already mentioned has been promoting usage or the consumption of electric vehicles. But because the 
most of the cost or let's say a substantial amount of expenditure that you incur to purchase electric vehicle comes from the lithium and we are imported, import dependent on the lithium, the cost of electric cars are higher. Now imagine rather than importing these batteries, what if I manufacture the batteries within the domestic market? Don't you think with lithium reserves available in the domestic market, the production would be improving? Rather than being import dependent, we might start exporting this. The cost of electric vehicles automatically will come down and that will help government of India meeting various objectives such as Atma Nirbharta in terms of electric vehicles, reduction of emissions, export promotion, investment, etc, etc, etc. That is where this news of having lithium reserves in India is very much relevant. Now, what are the advantages and what are the concerns? Right now, understand this. Let's start with the advantages. One, as already mentioned, investments. So because of this, if it is commercially viable, mined out investment would further increase. That will reduce the import dependence. India is already concerned about the exports that are happening of lithium products from China to India. And because the relation between India and China are not all weather, certain situations such as geopolitical tensions might disrupt this supply. And that is the precise reason we have a tie up with Argentina, we have a tie up with Australia for exporting of these lithium products. So our export, I'm sorry, the import dependence will automatically come down. Right, so these are some of the important advantages. Having said so, should we start celebrating running around in the streets, looking at the newspaper article, that lithium reserves are found in India. Not necessarily. Why? Point number one. Generally, whenever you come across these kind of reserves, these are classified under different methodologies. You might have heard of indicated, inferred, measured classification like this. Right now, these 5.9 million tons of lithium reserves are simply right inferred reserves. That is, the confidence on the quality, etc. will be slightly lower, right? So that is one point. And second point, whether it is going to be commercially viable, right? Over a period of time, you'll have to wait and see how much investments will flow from the private sector into this. You'll have to wait and see. And the third very important point is, even after getting the access to lithium within the domestic market, whether the price of the lithium batteries, are they going to drop to a very great extent or not? Again, that is a question that you'll have to wait and see to get the answer for. So these are certain very, very important points regarding the very recent reserves of lithium, which are found in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. If you like the initiative, please hit the like button. And if you yet to subscribe to Baiju's exam prep IAS, kindly do it right now. Thank you. Have a great day.